In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send photos from your Mac to your iPhone. The first thing we need to do is to enable the airdrop functionality on both our iPhone and our Mac. To do this on our iPhone, the first thing we need to do is to go to the settings application, and then you want to scroll down and you want to find general and click into that. From here, you want to find where it says airdrop and you want to click into that. Now you want to make sure that airdrop is on contacts only or it's on everyone for 10 minutes. In this case, I'm going to keep it on contacts only. Once we've done this, we can go back to the home screen. To enable the airdrop functionality on our Mac, we first need to go to the Apple logo in the top left, and then you want to click into system settings. And from here, you want to click into general on the left hand side menu. And then you want to find where it says airdrop and handoff and click into that. Once you're here, you want to click on this drop down menu next to airdrop. And again, you want to make sure it's on contacts only or everyone. Once we've done this, we can exit out of the settings application. So now airdrop has been enabled on both devices, we can go ahead and start sharing photos. In this instance, I'm going to share this example image. So once you've found the image you want to share, you want to right click on it. And from here, you want to click on share in the contacts menu. The share menu should appear and it should look like this. Now, if you don't see your device already listed here, you want to click on the airdrop option. And from here in the airdrop option, you should see a list of nearby devices that you can airdrop to. In this case, it's my iPhone. In this case, you want to select the iPhone. And if we go back to our iPhone, as you can see, the image has immediately been sent and it's immediately been opened in our photos library because it's an image. However, if it's a different file type, it may open in the files application instead. And now we've got this image, we can go ahead and start using it just as we normally would. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.